Hello, welcome to another video where we learn step by step how to create 3D models like this one in FreeCAD from scratch. In this video, you will see how to use the part sign and sketcher tools to model a part like this and also how to add screws using an external workbench. All in this video using the FreeCAD Day version. I hope you like this video. Let's go to the start page of FreeCAD 1.1 the version and let's create a new document. We can use the parameter body option or the MD file option to create a new document. I will press MD file option to create a new document. We'll be using the part time workbench and the fastness workbench to design the main model and these two fasteners here. Okay, let's go back to the document and first of all, let's create a sketch attached to the YZ plane. In that sketch, we'll create a geometry for this shape here. So let's go. In our document, let's press create sketch icon and select the YZ plane for this first sketch. When the sketcher workbench, the first thing to do is to go to the sketcher geometries and select the rectangle tool. Just click on this icon, click on the origin axis. And now let's add these dimensions for this rectangle. Let's say 220 millimeters, enter, and a length of 27 millimeters, and enter. Now we have the first geometry. Next, click on this endpoint of this rectangle, and let's say 27 millimeters, enter, and 30 millimeters for this rectangle. And we have this. This sketch is still constrained. Let's create another rectangle on this side, let's say 27 millimeters by 30 millimeters, and we have this. If we skip this tool now, we can see that we have one degree of freedom for this sketch. Let's full constrain this sketch. Let's use the dimension tool. Click on this icon, click on this endpoint, and now click on the vertical axis and create this horizontal distance. Just click off. And on this field here, let's say 108 millimeters and enter. And the sketch is full constrained again. Let's close the sketch. And now it's time to create a solid using the sketch here. The way to do that is to use the pad tool, the extrude tool. Just click on this icon, pad tool. And on the parameters of the pad operation, go to this option, check this option, smart to plane, and now let's change the length to 18 millimeters and press OK. So as you see here, we have the first shape of the model, of the main model, this shape here. Okay, next let's add this chamfer here. Let's rotate the view and select this edge and next go to these tools of part time and click on this icon, chamfer icon and the size here we must set 25 millimeters for this model press ok and we have this the next thing to do is to create a sketch for this shape here let's see how to do that let's go to our document select this face here and create a sketch on it just click in create sketch icon and zoom in here in the sketch workbench go to sketch geometries and select cycle tool Click on the vertical axis and let's set the diameter of this cycle to 60 millimeters. If we skip the tool, we can see that we have one degree of freedom. What is missing here is to set the distance between the center point of this cycle to the origin axis. Let's select the dimension to constrain the distance. Click the center point and now click off here and let's say 79.6 millimeters for this distance. And the sketch is full constrained. Let's close this. And next, let's select the pad tool. As you see, the extrusion is going in this duration. But we can change this without problems. We need to go to type and change to up to face. And now just rotate the model, rotate the view, zoom in and select this face here. As you see, we have this. Press OK. And the next thing that we have to do is to mirror this part here, this shape here on this side, like you see on this 3D model. For that, let's use the linear pattern feature. Just select the path and click on the linear pattern. As you see, here we have the here we have the shape on this side here. 
First of all, in this operation, we need to fix the duration of the linear pattern. So let's go to the task panel, go to duration, change here to y axis, base y axis, like we see here. If we change to right, we can see that this shape here is not touching this part here, this shape here. To fix this, we have to go to the length and set the correct distance. Here, we must set this formula 108 millimeters, the distance from this edge to this edge, minus 27 millimeters, the length of this shape here. If we click off now, as you can see, now we have the shape in the correct place. Press OK to finish the linear pattern feature. OK, next, let's create this part here, this shape and this shape here. But before we do that, we need to create this fillet here with a range of 15 millimeters. Let's do that. Let's go to our document. Uh, to select the edge easily, we can change the draw style to wireframe. To do that, we can navigate to this icon, expand the commands, and we can see this list of draw styles. Or we can use these shortcuts here. For example, if I press V plus 3 on the keyboard, as you see, I am on the wireframe draw style. So, okay, now I will zoom in here, hold the control key, and select this H, this H, and this H here, and now click on the fill tool. And now I will go back to the flatline draw style by pressing V plus 7. As you see, I have this. Now I will change the radius to 15 millimeters on this field. And I have this. Now I press OK here. And next I will create a sketch attached to the YZ plane for these two shapes here. How I do that? I will click on the grid sketch icon and select YZ plane. First I will change the geometries to construction geometry by pressing this icon. And next I will use this tool here. Create excellent projection geometry. I will extract this edge. I will import this edge and this edge. Press this icon to switch to the session view and we have this. Okay, now let's change to normal geometries and select rectangle tool. Let's create this geometry here. Okay, and next let's use the line tool. Zoom in here. Let's start the line here on this endpoint. And now just click here and next click on this endpoint and click on this endpoint. And we have a geometry here. Skip this tool. As you see, we have three degrees of freedom. Let's try to full constrain this sketch here. Okay, to do that, we can first select the constraint constant and make this point and this point constant. And we have this. But this geometry is not full constrained. So we can use the, the mission tool. Click on this line here, click off, and let's say 26 millimeters this geometry is full constrained. Click on this line here and now on this line here and let's say 25 degrees for these two lines. Okay, let's close this sketch and let's try to extrude this sketch. Let's click on the pad icon. As you see, the model disappeared from the 3D view. This happens because one of the geometries is not closed. If I press OK here, as you see, I get this. So I will cancel the pad operation and hide this fillet operation here, hide the 3D model. Just click on this icon and as you can see here, we have the rectangle, close it. But this geometry here is not closed, so this is why we can't extrude this sketch. So we have to go back to the sketch 002, double click. We can make this extracted edge a normal geometry. To do that, we have to select the edge, the extracted edge, and click on this icon. And now this extracted edge, this imported edge, is now a normal geometry. Let's close the sketch. And now, as you can see, this geometry is closed. Okay, I'll make the fill that operation visible again, the 3D model. And now I will select the sketch 002 and extrude the sketch. Now, as you can see, I have this. Okay, first of all, on the task panel, I will check the to plane and change the length to 6 millimeters. Click off, and now I will press OK. And I have this, as you can see. 
What is missing now is to create this fillet, this fillet and this fillet. Okay, to do that I will first change to the warfram draw style and select this edge for example. Hold the control key and rotate the view and now I will select this edge. I will rotate the view again, zoom in here and select this edge and now I will click in the fillet tool. And I will set 12 millimeters for this and I will go back to the flat lens or stop. Okay now. And the next thing to do is to create this pocket here and these two holes for these two facets. Okay, let me hide these two objects. The next thing to do on this 3D model is to create these three holes. So I will select this face, create a sketch on it. I will zoom in here. First, I will select the cycle tool and the sketch of geometries. I will create a cycle with a diameter of 14 millimeters. And I will create another cycle with the same diameter, 14 millimeters. And next, I will select the slot geometry and create this slot with, with a distance of 76 millimeters. And the angle will be zero here. And the radius will be 6 millimeters. I will escape this tool and I have 6 degrees of freedom. I will select this point, this point and uh, next to this center point. And I will go to the constraint horizontal and vertical, expand the tools and select constraint horizontal. And I have this 4 degrees of freedom as you see now. Next I will select the dimension tool. I will click on the horizontal axis. Now this center point click off and I will say 15 millimeters. 3 degrees of freedom as you can see. Next I will click on this center point and now on this center point and I will say 28 millimeters. From this center point to this center point 28 millimeters the same distance and now from this point to the vertical axis I will say 33 millimeters and enter. The sketch is full constrained. As you see, I will close it. And next, I will select the pocket tool and change to Fogol. And I have this. I will press OK here, rotate the video, and now I will select this face here and create a sketch on it. Okay, on this sketch here, what we'll do is to create geometries for this hole and this pocket. Okay, so we'll start by importing the center point of this shape here. To do that, we must change the geometries to construction geometries. Press this icon and I'll select the grid external projection geometry and extract this edge and we have the center point as you see. Change back to normal geometries and select cycle tool. Click on the center point, 42 millimeters for the diameter of the cycle and accelerate right rectangle tool. Let's create this rectangle and another rectangle like this. Skip this tool and now select these two lines here in this way and delete. Next select line tool, create this line here and this line. Okay. Skip this tool, select these two lines and make them horizontal in this way. Constraint symmetric and make this point, this point and the vertical axis symmetric. Okay, 7 degrees of freedom. What I have to do now is to define the distance between the center point to this length here and from the vertical axis to this length here. Let's use the dimension tool for that. Click on this icon. Click on this line, now click on the center point and create this vertical distance which have to be 28 millimeters. And now we can select this line here, click off and say 56 millimeters. And this is the geometry that we need to create this pocket and this hole. Just close the sketch and now select the pocket tool change here to focal and okay and here we have this okay now in this 3d model what is missing is to create the fillet features and the chamfer features let's select the surface here control the surface and now this edge 
and next this edge here and let's go to the chamfer tool let's say two millimeters for the size press home and ok let's select this edge hold ctrl key select this edge here click on the fill and icon and let's say five millimeters and now click and select button next here let's select this edge and this edge and I'll click in preview and OK press home on the keyboard and as you can see we have this OK we can first select this edge here and click in the fillet tool the size is one millimeters as you see but in this edge here we don't have the fillet like you see on this edge to fix this, we have to click on the select button and select this edge for example and click on preview. OK, just press OK and this is the final 3D model, the main model. OK, like you see on this document. What is missing now is to see how to edit these two fasteners here. OK, for now, let's change to the fasteners workbench. And compress these three here okay these versions here the reference is this and this size here okay in our document in the fasteners workbench let's click in fasteners and navigate to this option and we'll see these all options and we have this reference that we need this is the reference that we need so click here as you see now we have a new object in the 3d view and also in the tree view Okay, select this object and first change the diameter to M12 and the length to 40. Go to the document, as you see, we have this. And to make the fruit visible, we have to select the object in the tree view and here in this option, check the option. Go to the document, as you see, now I have the fruit here. Okay, and now let's see how to attach this fastener on this hole. Before we do that, let's create a copy of this object. Select the fastener, Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V to pass the object on the document. Okay, let's select this first object, this first fastener, and hold Ctrl key and now select this edge of this hole and click on the move fastener icon. As you see, now I have the first fastener on this hole, attach it to this hole. Select this fastener and now hold Ctrl key and select this edge and move fastener. And it's all. So this is the final model. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.